Yo guys, welcome back to the manga bedroom and today I just figured look at all these packages I've got in the mail over a couple of days and yeah, I just figured this is enough to make a fun video about it. Okay, let's start with the first one and you're gonna see a very uh, big difference in packaging here between like uh, a couple of companies here as we start off with Berserk, the Luke's edition number nine. And know, of course, I have already unpacked these. That's just a scumbag I am. So you're not getting the first experience, but I figured let's just get uh, the unboxing in for the experience. Also, if you want to let me know what your favorite manga pickups are, feel free to let me know in the comments because I do love to know what you guys are reading currently. Uh, we're gonna start off with Berserk and we're gonna maybe show a little bit of the front here because there cannot be a lot of spoilers in there. Uh, but I must say the artwork in Berserk is getting even better even compared to like um, the Golden Age arc and it's just super awesome right now the world building expanded There are a lot more things explained about the world and I do actually think that Berserk is literally uh, I guess like even better or just as good as Golden Age right now I really like Berserk at the point where it is right now we have like five deluxe editions more to go something like that and uh, of course I'm really curious about the ending how uh, the ending is going to look without Kentaro Miura working on it unfortunately uh, but it's gonna be really cool but now let's show you the other Berserk packaging all right so from Amazon I got this literally this this envelope um, so weird like these books wait a sec These books are like 50 bucks each and like Amazon uh, thinks it's normal to deliver these in an envelope. Bro, these are quite heavy as well. So if a uh, like van is going over a speed bump or something in delivery van, uh, that's not good at all for these books. Um, I, but I must admit this doesn't have any damage luckily. But I've talked about Berserk already. This is just book 8. Uh, 9 is up to date I do believe. So uh, I'm just looking forward to the next one. Have been reading these. These are truly awesome. Uh, and I figure you guys are keeping up with Berserk as well. And if you're not, you're missing out on probably uh, my favorite manga in my entire collection. So get to work. Also guys, before we open this next package here, I have recently been watching Tokyo Revengers. I just finished it, I finished it last night. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about Tokyo Revengers. It had, it had a little bit of a slow start, but it was so hype. The last couple of episodes were so hype with Baji and stuff. I'm not gonna get into it in case you guys haven't seen it yet. I was late to it as well, but it is such a hype, awesome series. Uh, I've just uh, switched to the manga because I, bro, the cliffhanger in the last episode was just illegal. So uh, I managed to uh, read the manga online. And it's gonna be super awesome to see where it goes. Uh, over here we have Blade of the Immortal. And Blade of the Immortal has a super unique art style. Uh, it's not like the most detailed, but look, let's take a look. Um, it looks super awesome, like um, really authentically Japanese, I would say. If you're taking a look at this kind of artwork, it's absolutely awesome. I'm really looking forward to reading this. I have not read this as of yet i am picking up the normal omnibus editions from uh, dark horse because they also have the deluxe editions the same as berserk but those are absolutely like, incredibly expensive and this is actually really nice quality and looks pretty clean and neat in my opinion so i'm sticking to this for now uh, what are you guys going to do do you already own this are you going to pick up the deluxe edition i'd love to know what your stance is on those deluxe editions because they are that expensive is it worth it because this is half the price of uh, the Luke's book let me know so now we have arrived at our final package of this uh, manga unboxing uh, if you guys like the video if you guys want to help me out of course leave a like subscribe it would help me out uh, enormously because simply the more people I can talk about manga with the more fun it gets for me the more comments I get the more fun it gets for me so if you would like to discuss it with us all here in the manga bedroom it would be awesome uh, if you could join us 
the final volume I did get in the mail in a couple last week or something is a 21st Century Boy, the conclusion of 20th Century Boys by Naoki Urasawa. An absolute masterpiece of a manga and I must say I was really happy with the conclusion. It was quite satisfactory. Um, it had everything, it got tied up because I must say like the last volume of 20th Century, Century Boys, Naoki Urasawa apparently just didn't know how to end the series. It was such a big plot and he just didn't know how should I end it. So he took a, a break for a year I believe and then crafted this as the final volume and it definitely delivered. It was a bit confusing. I had to uh, check some Reddit posts to make sense of it all. Um, but in the end, this is really good. Just as Monster, No Kurosawa works are always just exceptionally well done. And uh, you gotta read 20th Century Boys, especially if you like Monster, since it is just, I think, an even more complex and drawn out story. So you gotta take a look at this. And with that, we are going to end the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy this. Of course, it's gonna come a really a big manga haul with all the books I've got. But for now, guys, I hope you are keeping up with the manga and still reading. And yeah, if you have any requests, let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.